can sit and stand today, it's only because Allah gave you the power to do that. That's why when Qarun, a very wealthy person at the time of the Prophet Moses, may peace be upon him, mentioned in Surah Al-Qasas, if I'm not mistaken, Allah Almighty says that his crime was not that he had wealth. His crime was he allowed the wealth to make him arrogant. And on top of that, he told everyone, this is nothing to do with God Almighty. This is me, my intellect, my brain, my capacity, my physical strength and my sharp brain. I got all this and I made you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Who gave you that brain? Did you give yourself the brain? Who gave you the capacity? Who gave you the ability? Who allowed you to network and to meet? We think we're intelligent. Hang on, hang on. It's Allah who allowed you to network. Today we have social media through which the bulk of us have gotten to know each other. Am I right? Where did that come from? Did Allah not? You might say, oh, it's a human being. It's these people, those people. This social media belongs to that one and this one and this one invented this and that. Did Allah not give them the capacity in their brains? Where did their brains come from? So go back to the source, the root. It's always Allah. Do not allow yourself to forget Allah. Allah is the first of that entire equation. So Qarun's crime was, he says, I was given all of this because of me, myself and I. My knowledge, the knowledge that is within me. Hang on. Allah says, does he not see we've destroyed people before him who had much more than him? Because he became arrogant. He needs to witness the destruction of those who were similarly arrogant that happened in the past. When Allah destroys, he doesn't just you slap and you get a slap back on your on your cheek. That's not how Allah works. Allah gives you a moment. He gives you some time. Differs from person to person, situation to situation, nation to nation. Imagine if every time you did something bad, you had the punishment instantly. So my brothers and sisters, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you wealth, don't be so much haughty, don't be arrogant and don't deny the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you. Don't take all the credits by yourself. Thank Allah, do shukr to Allah, be grateful to Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase your wealth and Allah will give barakah in your life. If you don't show gratitude, if you are not thankful to Allah and if you are arrogant after getting wealth, after becoming rich, then Allah might snatch away your wealth and Allah may punish you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us thankful to Allah and may Allah protect us from all sorts of punishment.